Welcome back to Perspective with Muppet. I'm so glad that you guys could be back here for what is the first video in 2021. Uh, this is not quite right. One moment. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, there we go. I know it's a brand new year, but some things don't really need to change, do they? <laughs> Let's get straight into the video. Welcome back to Perspective with Muppet. I'm so glad that you guys could join me on what is the very first video in this year, 2021. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much to each and every person who has already subscribed to this channel for the support, for the questions as to where I was and why there wasn't any content being made on this channel. I got some messages that really were, uh, in a way, very uh, humbling because, you know, sometimes you forget just who's watching and you know people are actually concerned and they want to have more and more content so i'm really thankful to each and every person especially those of you who reached out to those of you who might be new hearing my voice for the very first time welcome to my channel it's so good to have you please consider subscribing liking sharing commenting on the experience that you're going to have here on perspective with Moppy. we're in a brand new year and it's already january the third I don't know about you and how you're doing and how the year is going so far. Are you still feeling motivated as most of us do at the beginning of the year? Caught up with the wave of the new year, the new me and all this energy just about newness. You know, are you still contemplating and reflecting upon the previous, the previous year that we had and the kind of impact that it had on your life? One thing that I'm positively certain about is I'm so thankful for the gift and the opportunity of what is a brand new year, for the gift of family, of good health and just the opportunity to start afresh for the start afresh <laughs> basically to start afresh i think one of the things that you know as we we're talking about this subject on this channel which is celebrating progress which i'd like to share with everyone in my own personal life celebrating progress especially this last year was shooting a wedding for the very first time in case you don't know or we don't have really a personal relationship i happened to dabble in photography as well and i had the opportunity of shooting stanley and willa's wedding and i'm so thankful to both of you for trusting me with such a grand and memorable day for the two of you that i guess is going to be remembered for a long time and you know they trusted me with this and it was such a an honor first of all and such a privilege just to be there but also a learning experience so many things happened on that particular day that if I hadn't done it I wouldn't know and it's around the same subject of just doing things for the first time that I'm somewhat brought and drawn to this year that is 2020 you know we're doing some things in this year for the very first time other things that we're embarking to do it could be personal goals or just things and resolutions that you've determined and you've decided to do for your own life that could be brand new and along the way one of the things that you know based on my experience that i find that is common to a lot of us is the fact that we are unfortunately prone to make a few mistakes in handling or doing things for the first time i know for certain if you were to see me on that day i was running around i'm so thankful that i had a, a good support system shout out here to sangha and kondoni I know, <laughs> I know that they're watching, but I had a good support system that just reminded me to remain sober minded and to get through the day with a lot of confidence and just a peace of mind, really. And so from that experience, you know, one of the things that I, I, I took away that I find is necessary for the conversation that we're having here today and pertaining to 2021 is this idea that when we're doing something brand new, you know, we're not exempt from sometimes making mistakes. It could even be something that we've done over and over again. But I find that we could potentially make mistakes and these mistakes have the ability to you know to derail us to make us lose our confidence and it's on that subject that i felt like it would be a necessary conversation to start this year with here on perspective with one now mistakes some to me could be just um an undesired result you know sometimes you do something mistakenly without necessarily consciously doing it and in defining what this mistake is i, I want to be very clear that this is not so much a commentary on what is morally correct and what is morally wrong you know this is more so on those things that happen in day-to-day -day life for example putting salt in your coffee instead of your sugar uh putting you know chili in your cornflakes for example you know just those things that are prone to happen but were unforeseen you know and i find that these little mistakes over time and if they go unchecked you know have the power to ultimately change how we view ourselves and which leads me to the very first idea that i want to share about you know, learning and coping with making mistakes as we journey along in this brand new year. You know, and perhaps this could also be a reflection that's necessary based on the kind of year that we previously had where 
everything was not as perhaps a lot of us would have anticipated. And I can imagine that perhaps could have made us, you know, susceptible to making multiple mistakes, whether this is relational, uh, you know, mistakes or even just with our finances, our education, in whatever facet of life or capacity, you know, mistakes were made. And back to the first point, which is, you know, we don't need to let mistakes define who we are. A very wise man once said that a just man falls down seven times and rises up again. The idea that I derived from this is the concept or is the idea really that it did not change the fact that this man is just. You know, in as much as he fell down seven times and he rose again, it did not change the idea that this man was just. It did not have a bearing on who and the identity that he was. And I can imagine that as we're going through the year, we're prone to make mistakes, whether that's, you know, dealing with whatever aspect of our, of our lives. And one thing that for me I find is very helpful is to always remember that the mistake that I made is not so much... A reflection of who I am as an individual and so that's also something I'm bringing forward to you perhaps it could be mistakes that you made in the year 2020 or perhaps even you know some of the things that you could possibly encounter in the year 2021 and when that moment comes or perhaps this is a moment of reflection for some of you based on the you know what happened in the year 2020 is this is not so much a reflection of who you are you know I'd like you to think about this statement it says a just man falls down seven times and get and rises again that means it doesn't change his identity the fact that he fell seven times and perhaps your definition of falling could be different but in, for the sake of this conversation to here today i like to think of that fall as a mistake it could even be a setback you know he has seven setbacks but he rises up again and he's still what just so that's something that i want for us to ponder even as we're you know entering this year 2021 which leads me to the second idea that I wanted to share around this subject of sort of handling mistakes and which is simply to be careful the manner in which we then proceed to handle this mistake. I think there's this idea that a lot of us and especially I've been guilty of myself, some form of self-righteousness that comes from sort of self-inflicting punishment. You know, you determine a course or an act of an action, you know, of a about what you deem is punishment enough that it equates to the mistake that you've made. And so you maybe self-isolate, you know, from the people that you should be close to, or maybe you just do something that's drastic. But in my experience, there's really no good that comes from this. I think one of the ways that, you know, we can be better at handling mistakes is to have a lot of compassion and a lot of grace for ourselves in such times. And I know I'm speaking more on how we as individuals are handling this, but I find that mistakes are also things that we have to deal with when other people make mistakes around us. I think when people come to us generally with, you know, making genuine mistakes, we often respond with compassion and it's within that same mindset that we should be able to respond to ourselves somehow we seem to be our hardest and our harshest critics but in this case i'm challenging each and every one of us beginning with myself you know to be kinder to ourselves when we make these mistakes moving on to the last idea that i want to share with you this evening is simply to be able to admit that you made a mistake this last year, I had a number of experiences in which, you know, I didn't necessarily immediately honor to the times that I'd made a mistake. And what I found is that this actually worsened the circumstance, you know, and actually ended up hurting other people. And so I find that when we make mistakes, it could be in any capacity, like I said, whether it's at your workplace, within your home, within a community such as your church, or even your local Toastmasters, like some people I know do, you know, we should be able to immediately admit that we made a mistake and perhaps reconcile and do what is necessary to ensure that perhaps we rectify the situation. Obviously, taking actions that are not necessarily dr drastic or dramatic or, you know, based off of very um you could say not sober thinking you know because sometimes in an attempt to make up for what we've done wrong we can tend to go to the extremes but in this case within what's within reasonable capacity so these are kind of three ideas that i felt were necessary just to share with all of you because these are things that i myself am pondering on as we've i guess entering 2021 which is again you know uncharted territory you know we have never been here. This is a brand new experience. And I don't know what 2020 looked like for you, but I know that 2021 promises a fresh start. It promises brand new opportunities, meaningful connections, and to really pursue the life that you want to pursue. And in order to do this, I 
encourage you and I implore you, based on the conversation that we just had here today, to be a little kind to yourself. Know that you're not defined in any way or, or you know, um, you do not get your identity from your failings or your mistakes. And finally, no, oh, and finally, to have a bit of courage just to be able to be vulnerable enough to admit when you've made a mistake. Now, I'd like to hear from each and every one of you. If at all you'd like to share how you've been celebrating progress or perhaps even just to make a comment on some of the ideas that I've shared with you this evening, please comment in the comment section. Let me know, you know, your story could be perhaps encouragement for another person. I find myself reading YouTube comments all the time because I'm always trying to find out how other people are engaging, you know, with the conversations that I had, not just on my channel, but on so many other people's channels. So this is what I had for you. I'm looking forward to hearing back from you. You can find me as always on Instagram or Facebook. I'm gonna put my handles in the description of this video and I'm gonna see you all next week.